Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an HP touchpad tablet which is running Cyanogen Mod 9 Alpha 2, which is based on Google Android 4.0. And it's also capable of running WebOS, which is the operating system it comes with. Uh, the reason to install Android is largely because you have access to all sorts of Android applications that aren't available for WebOS. Uh, but if you prefer the multitasking system that WebOS has, which is kind of a nifty system that shows large thumbnail previews and lets you swipe between them, there's uh, now a way to go ahead and add something similar to Android. So uh, just to show you how this works, basically instead of pressing the recent apps menu and getting a list along the side like you normally would with Android 4.0, now when you press recent apps you get large thumbnail previews um, showing what's going on on those different websites and then you can just tap between them. If you want to dismiss something from this list you can just pull up and it goes away. And there's also a nifty tool that lets you swipe from the side of the screen to bring up the multitasking menu. And that is an application called uh, Task Changer Pro, which is available as a free download from the Android market. Task Changer Pro. Actually, this is the uh, Google Play Store now, no longer the Android market. I'll have to get used to saying that. And you can customize this so that you can swipe from the sides. It's difficult to swipe from the bottom the way you would in WebOS because you've got this toolbar here at the bottom. But when this is active, you should be able to swipe from the sides and bring up your list of recently used applications. And in order to configure Task Changer, you just fire up the application, hit the menu button, go into settings, and you can configure what happens when you swipe at the left upper zone, lower zone, right upper zone, right lower zone. And in this case I have it set to show recent ICS, which means show recent applications that were used. Now one thing to keep in mind that's a little bit different from uh, the way WebOS works is swiping up doesn't actually close the program, it just removes it from the recent apps menu. So when we go back into the uh, web browser, for instance, here, it's still going to load to the last page that was running uh, last time we loaded it. But overall, it's uh, similar in terms of uh, visual look, at the very least. So if that's one of the things that you liked about WebOS and were uh, wishing that you could use on Android, now you can. You can find instructions for how to install this at lilliputing.com, and uh, thanks to the folks at the Roots Wiki forum and WebOS Nation forums for uh, posting detailed instructions. Um, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a look at the uh, WebOS style app switcher available for Android 4.0 on the um, HP touchpad tablet. Uh, it requires one of the latest versions of Android 4.0, including uh, Alpha 2 or the latest Nightlies or the latest Android Open King project releases.